If you feel like some of your outfits are a little humdrum, I'm going to show you how to transform your outfits with Elevated Essentials. Hi, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. I'm excited about the topic of today's video because I have shown you in the past many, you know, 50 outfits for summer, 50 outfits for fall. Um, a lot of videos where I show outfits using wardrobe essentials. I even have a downloadable wardrobe essentials, fashion essentials over 40 wardrobe guide. And today I wanted to kind to talk about what makes some of those outfits work because we can look at an outfit that looks very basic i'm gonna pop one up right here looks very basic you're like well she's just wearing a white shirt and white pants what makes this white shirt and white pants outfit interesting and another white shirt and white pants outfit basic or boring uh, the difference is in the details and today we're going to discuss those details and how to elevate your essentials so that every outfit looks incredible so when we talk about wardrobe essentials, they're often referred to as basics, but essentials don't have to be basic. They don't have to be plain or simple unless you choose to make them plain or simple. And even the plain and simple pieces, especially I would say the plain and simple pieces need to be styled so that the outfit is not boring, right? So that's what separates some of the outfits that we all see, that we see on Pinterest, we see on Instagram and you're like, that's amazing. It's so simple, but it's amazing. It's so chic. It's so stylish. It's so whatever, insert your word. It's so polished. Um, and what elevates those outfits? What makes them special? What makes them interesting? What makes them ultra stylish and, and keeps them from being boring, even if the sum of their parts seems a little less than interesting. Okay. So I'm going to show you, there are three things that we can look for that can elevate a basic and make it an elevated essential. And there are three details that we can tweak. So for example, first outfit here, you're looking at a white tee and black uh, pants. So if, you, if, if I told you this woman is wearing a white tee and black pants and no shoes, you'd think, that's a really, really boring look. Um, or it could be a boring look, or it could be a basic look, or it could be a very minimal look. But what elevates these um, pieces is the materials that she's using. So she's wearing leather pants, and then the top has some sort of texture to it. It, it looks like it's a knit, maybe even linen or something. It's kind of an unexpected pairing, and it just works, right? So it's the fabric in this, um, in this outfit that elevates those basics from boring to elevated essentials. Now, the, another way that you can elevate your essentials is through fit. So fabric was the first one. Interesting fabrics, uh, just, you know, luxurious fabrics or just unexpected fabrics. Fit is the second. Now, I'm going to show you two examples where fit plays the key role, or one of the key roles in taking these two very seemingly basic pieces and making them beautiful and stylish especially when paired together. So this first outfit, she's got a flowy oversized top and flowy wide leg black pants. So again, you could say she's wearing a white t-shirt and black pants, but is she wearing a white t-shirt and black pants? Like that's an amazing shirt and those are amazing pants and they're amazing together. Now, not every one of us can pull off this outfit. I, I get that there's a lot of volume here. I definitely could not pull that off, but on her, she nailed it. They fit her beautifully, but they have a flowy oversized fit that makes the fit the statement. The fit is the star of this outfit. So fit is one of the ways that you can elevate uh, basics and make them more interesting essentials. Okay, here's another outfit where the fit is really what makes it interesting. It's just a little bit drapey, a little bit oversized, and it just makes the look overall just come together in a way that is very, very elegant and very um, everything, anything but boring. The final detail that you can use to elevate your basics and make them elevated essentials and make them more interesting is your choice of details. Now, this first detail really does come down to fabric. This is a beautiful lace top with these really interesting and 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 well-fitted, well-cut black pants. So the lace top, the detail of the lace definitely takes this from being a basic to being an elevated piece, right? So I'm kind of wearing a similar, similar, um, item today where I've got 
something that could be a basic it's a white top and it's got you guys have all seen this before it's a free people top it's got these lace um sleeves and that makes it less than um more more than a basic and more of an elevated essential um, here's another detail that elevates this outfit. So this is a beautiful white blouse, but it's got this black piping on it and this, this interesting um, tie detail in the front, and that makes it a lot more interesting. And then, of course, the way that she's paired it, the way that she styled it makes it really interesting. Here's another white top and black pants combo just to show you how many different variations on this theme and how every woman took these basic pieces that if you just gave a very, very simple description would all sound the same and made them their own. So this, you know, cool white top that she styled beautifully. She's wearing it with high-waisted black jeans that fit her perfectly. And then they've got those buttons up the front that are a really cool detail. And that takes those, those black bottoms and makes them a lot more interesting. So it's the fit and the details of the buttons on the front of that. And then the way she's accessorized it, those square-toed, um, you know, kind of sling back flat heels, I can't really quite tell, and then that little straw bag. The whole outfit is very, very well thought out and intentional and well styled. So again, she's taking pieces that could potentially be basic and she's elevated them and made them essentials. So I am going to show you some of the so some of my favorite upgrades to your essential pieces. So if you have the basic version of these pieces, you have the very simple version of these pieces, I'm going to show you how you can take them to the next level by elevating them and by maybe in investing in elevated essentials. Not all of these are expensive, and by investing I just mean buying, but um, these elevated essentials that will really help you pull together the outfits that you see in all of those videos, in all of the Pinterest boards, in all on all of the Instagram people that, that really can take your outfits to the next level. Okay, let's start with the most basic of basics, that white button down shirt. So this is a very basic, elegant, but basic version. So my basic of basics is my Everlane white button down shirt. And when you're looking at a piece that's really this simple, the way to elevate that piece in an outfit is to pair it with interesting pieces or to style it in an interesting way, to tie it, to knot it, to tuck it, to accessorize it in a way that elevates it. Otherwise, if I wore this, you know, a, a very simple white button down menswear inspired shirt with very simple black, basic pants, the entire outfit is going to look a little bit basic. So this particular version is from Lafayette 148. It's their Kennedy button down shirt. Again, it's a very elegant white button down shirt, but very, very simple. Now, if you want to take it up a little bit, this next version from um, Finley, it, their button down poplin top, it's colorless and it has these full sleeves, um, but everything else about it is still simple. So it still has the versatility. You, it's still a button down top so you can still wear it um, open one of the things about a button down top that we love is its versatility you can wear it open um, you can you can tie it you can knot it you can tuck it you can do all sorts of things with it and keep in mind that the more details the more interesting these button down tops become the less versatile some of them become so you want to find that balance between an interesting and elevated essential but one that can also still be versatile if that's what you're looking for in a top. So sometimes it can pay to have, or it can make sense to have like a basic version and then a more elevated version. And then you have more uh, flexibility when you're putting together outfits. So this one is the, yeah, the Finley button down poplin top. Um, that's, I think is beautiful. Now this one from Jill Sander, this is a very high end one and it's a very basic silhouette. It's just a, a, a button down blouse. Um, but it's got this beautiful embellished collar. So adding this detail, and if you wear if you wore this with your just basic jeans or your basic black pants, you have an outfit because this top is an outfit maker. And so some of these pieces are just going to have that power, that ability to elevate your other basic pieces and make them into interesting outfits. So a lot of times when we're looking at those basic outfits, those very simple outfits that I've shown in many videos, it's these details, it's these types of items, it's these pieces, it's this attention to elevating the, the essentials that really takes those outfits and makes them special. This Claire puff sleeve button down shirt from Harshman. This is another cool example. So it's a, it's a simple button down shirt, but it's got the puff sleeve. So it's kind of an updated modern take on this button down shirt that makes it a lot more interesting. This um, one from Emporio Armani has 
a very subtle detail of grow grain trim, which is kind of even hard to see in the picture, but in real life would look like, oh, that's not just a basic white button down shirt. It's, it's actually really interesting. This one from Hudson has a wrap detail, which makes it cool, a little less versatile, but a really cool kind of different um, detail, different feature. Um, now, a, if we're gonna veer way towards, these shirts are, are getting progressively more statement e, right? They're, be, they're not as essential, they're, they, they, some of them can veer into a statement. And that's going to depend on your personal style. Now, a white button down shirt for you might always be an essential because you've got creative or quirky or, um, you know, like a, an eclectic style. And some of you, those shirts might be a little bit too much. So personal style is going to play a large role in which of these shirts you consider essential and which you consider more, um, more statementy. But I think we can all agree that this one from Kobe Halperin, the Keisha, Keisha Lace Yoke Pintuck Blouse, this is a statement blouse. So this is veering off to the statement um, side of the spectrum for white blouses. So when you're looking at, you know, filling your wardrobe with elevated essentials, you're going to put this in more of a statement category. Yes, it's a white uh, blouse, but it's so detailed, it's more of a statement piece, and it really is an outfit maker. So you want to consider maybe having a more basic basic and an elevated essential in these categories in your wardrobe um, if you want that ultimate flexibility. Okay, now let's move on to another uh, basic category, and that's the white tee or any color, neutral color tee. I mean, it's the piece that everybody talks about, everybody talks about all the time. I do not like to wear white tees alone. I like to wear white tees with interesting pieces because my personal style is a little bit more eclectic, a little bit more creative, and when I wear a white tee alone, I kind of feel like it's a little bit boring. Like a white tee and jeans, some people pull that look off beautifully. For me, it just feels like it's missing something. So I'm gonna show you a white tee that I, I absolutely love and that I wear with my statement pieces, and this is the Boxy Semi Crop Noble Tee from Mott & Bow. I'm gonna pop my code up here, it's Netta. Um, you get a discount if you use that, and I, I love this as my basic version of a tee. Now, what if we wanna elevate the tee a little bit? We wanna wear it in a simple way. We don't want to have to zhuzh our outfits so that the basic tee looks less than basic. Then you're going to elevate your tee, right? You're going to pick a more elevated version of that top. And this Darcy Tee from Nation um, is, beautiful. So it's got that beautiful, you know, V-neck and that sleeve and the fit and everything about that tee elevates it a little so it does not look so basic, basic, right? Um, and, but it, at the same time, there's not so much detail that it's not as versatile and you can't wear it in the same ways that you would wear a basic tee. You could almost do all the same things with this top that you could with a really basic tee. Um, here's another one also from Nation, their organic cotton Cameron tee. This is a high neck that looks like almost like a, a turtleneck version of a tee, and it's sleek and chic, and this would be really great paired with some slouchier pants because it's going to offset that, that volume. Um, now, another way to elevate that look, of course, um, is the basic silk cotton blend tee from Lily Silk. Now, this is the fabric elevating this piece, right? So it's a cotton silk blend. It's gonna look a little more elevated. You can even go for a silk tee, which is gonna look more like a blouse, of course. But again, that's an, a nice and easy way to elevate this. Now, this J. Crew one, broken in jersey puff sleeve t-shirt, it's got an interesting sleeve, um, and that's going to elevate that basic tee look and just kind of make it a little bit more interesting. Now, let's go on to another category, a tank. Now, these days, a tank is not the basic rib scoop neck tea, a tank that we all remember. What they used to call the wife beater. I'm sure there's a very politically incorrect term right now, but it's more of a high necked tank with like a kind of a, a cutaway sleeve. So this version, the new favorite tank in vintage rib, this is from J. Crew. This is what the current um, cool tank looks like, but this is a basic rib tank, right? So how can you take a, a, a tank and elevate that item if, if that's what you want to do in your wardrobe? So this one, um, is the skimming linen blend crew neck muscle tee or muscle tank is just essentially a sleeveless tee. And that's an interesting way to wear a tank. It's also interest. It's also a nice option. If you want a little bit more coverage, a tank like that is a great option for that. Um, 
this one from Refine, I love this because it's a very seemingly basic silhouette, but it's got a square neck and that elevates it, it makes it a little bit more of a top than a tank almost, and it makes it um, a lot more interesting. Now, this one um, is from Lily Silk. This is a, a silk, it says, they call it a silk camisole, but to me it looks more like a silk tank. It's like a sleeveless silk blouse, but it has that versatility of a tank, but it is more elevated. So especially if you're dressing for a professional capacity or you just wanna elevate your, your everyday outfit of, of jeans and a tank or shorts and a tank, something like this would be absolutely beautiful. So fabric elevating the, the piece, that can keep it very simple and still very versatile while also looking more interesting. Okay, let's move on to another category because I have a lot to cover. Um, the next category is black pants. Now, you can go for the basic black, almost suiting pants, basic black work trouser or dress trouser, but unless you're in a very conservative setting or a very conservative workplace and you need that, or if you want a piece that's very versatile and you need that, then you can also consider um, upgrading or updating your basic black pants so that they're more interesting and that they're more outfit makers. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of this. These are the Lacademy Leander trousers. This, the fabric and the fit, it's like a glossy, silky, almost looks like a charmeuse fabric. And then the beautiful fit make these anything but basic black pants. And if you're like me and you feel like you don't reach for the basic basics as much because you want your, your, your outfits to sing a little bit more, then this could be a great option. These these are from Levi's, the flare leather pants, a flare faux leather pants. These are amazing. Obviously, faux leather, the fabric of those silky ones and the faux leather is what elevates those black pants, but also the fit and the cut. And that can be the only detail that you change. It could be a really cool fit, a really cool cut, and that's really going to elevate those black pants, right? Um, I love these the, um, these high-waisted trousers um, that have, I mean, these are going to be a little bit harder to wear, so it depends on your body type, but these higher-waisted trousers, um, it's the fit of these pants that makes them interesting. So putting those in, a, in an otherwise very simple outfit, the outfit's going to be interesting just by definition. Um, these are kind of um, uh, like a jogger, an elevated jogger style, um, and I love, love, love these Bauer pants. Um, and again, so it's the fit and the fabric on these that's making them more interesting. Now, I've been, look, I've been eyeing these for a while, I'm really tempted to get these. These are the Ripley Raider black ponte knit wide leg pants. Um, it's the fabric, it's the fit, it's the drama of those pants that makes them so, so interesting. So these are a piece that you'd bring into your wardrobe and anything you wear them with is going to be elevated, right? Um, now, a little bit more of a basic version is this. these from Everlane, the way high drape pants. Now this is the classic trouser that is everywhere this season. This is a key look for the season. It's this, it's a kind of a high waisted trouser with pleats. This is a little bit of a hard look to pull off. It is, like I said, classic, but trendy this year. And so if you're interested in a trouser pant that is simple, but also still interesting, this is a nice option from Everlane and not super expensive. Okay, the next category I wanna talk about is the basic black pump, or in some cases, the not so basic black pump. So I'm gonna show you a few that I think are, um, you know, basic, and we're gonna go through the spectrum, right? So the the first pair I wanna show you is, you know I'm a Sarah Flint brand ambassador. I'm obsessed with their pumps. I recently wore the Perfect Pump 100, so the highest version of the Perfect Pump for 12 solid hours on my feet, and I was totally, totally comfortable. I'm gonna pop my coat up here so you can use that. But this is their Perfect Pump 50, so this is their kitten heeled version of that pump. Very, very comfortable pump, very simple, very classic, very streamlined pump, right? Now what if you're like, but I don't want I don't want it to be super simple. I want a little bit more of an interesting pump. So one of the easy ways that you can make a pump more interesting is, is a detail called the Dorsey detail, which is basically where you're cutting out the sides of the pump. And this is these are the Azra suede pumps. These are a beautiful Dorsey pump and um, that that are a little bit a little bit more interesting and eclectic than that classic black pump. Another way to elevate a pump this season is to do a platform. So you're literally elevating it. A 
platform is back. And for those of us who love platforms and who are on the petite side, this is such a godsend. So this is a Christian Louboutin. I just have to show these because they're incredible. Um, suede peep toe pumps with a lace up detail up the, oh my gosh, these are just gorgeous. But any, um, uh, like sleek black pump with a little bit of a platform, that's gonna be an updated detail this season that will give you height and at the same time comfort and at the same time really make them even more contemporary. Um, the Perfect Emma pump from Sarah Flint, this is a black pump that's elevated by the use of a different material. And that's that really interesting tortoise kind of looking or, you know, patterned heel. And so this is a really walkable, comfortable, easy height. And it, the, the pump is not basic because you've got that interesting heel detail. Some of these are so cool. These, um, I think these are Sam Edelman, the Tabata ankle strap dress pumps. These are just a really cool pump. So they've got a cool heel. They've got that strap around the ankle and it just takes these, these elevated, these pumps and elevates them. This um, feisty pointy toe pump from Mark Fisher. This is a really cool pump. It's got a sling back detail. And so that's another detail. These are also both shiny and a little bit like, I think it's more of a patent leather finish, which is back. Again, something else I love patent leather is back this season. And so just the sling back and the material, the patent leather material, elevates these pumps and makes them a little bit of a step above basic. And then finally, these Schutz Boris suede sling back pumps. They are so cool with the kind of the cutout. They're a sling back, but they've got that cutout on the side. I love the shoes from Schutz. Um, they're just they're they're just the coolest. So. Um, those are some options for you if you're looking to take your basic pieces and make them more interesting, make them more elevated, and elevate your entire outfits in the process. So when you're eyeing those beautiful outfits on Instagram and on Pinterest and on all the places, you can recreate those if you have some elevated essentials in your wardrobe. So I have a lot more options in each of these categories. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't show those beautiful black pants with the lace and I didn't show these. I have a lot more of these in the catalog that's linked in the description box below. And of course, I share all of them in the blog post, which is also linked in the description box Below. So I do a catalog and a blog post for every single video. Um, let me know what you think of this video. Did you like seeing these elevated essentials? Are you, do you fall more on the minimal and less is more side? Or do you fall more on the, I'm going to grab the lace blouse and wear it everywhere side? Um, or are you somewhere in the middle? And can you find space in your personal style for maybe a more basic piece and an elevated essential. And what does that look like for you? Love to hear from you in the comments. It makes my day when I hear from you. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Um, hit the subscribe button and subscribe. Let me know, um, you know if, this, if you'd like to see more videos like this again in the comments. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.